This is Tim Bryce with my column entitled, Obama's Scorecard. As you may remember, I spent many years in Little League coaching boys baseball and girls softball. I also served as an umpire and on the local board of directors. My emphasis was to teach the mechanics of the game, teamwork, and the general love of the game. Most of the time, I kept score of the game myself, but I also taught several of my kids to do so. Keeping score is actually not too difficult and is good for keeping the game fair and the other team honest. It is also helpful to track where the batter was hitting the ball in prior innings. Every game requires a good scorekeeper, including American politics. Using my scoring capabilities, I decided to develop a baseball scorecard to record Mr. Obama's play while in office. It is a true record of his performance. Those of you baseball aficionados who understand a scorecard will quickly figure it out. For the rest of you, consider this a lesson. Starting off in the first inning, we have the recovery, which I gave a base on balls. Next, we had Obamacare, for which I gave an E1 through 9. Next, we have Fast and Furious, which has got a hit-by-pitcher designation. Next, we have the economy which is actually going the wrong way on the scorecard and showing a GDP minus. And finally, we have Benghazi with a 4 RIP. In the second inning, we have the VA scandal, which shows four little crosses near home plate, followed by IRS scandal, which is a CS email. That stands for caught stealing. Next, we have war on energy, which is a delay. And then we have the AP scandal, which is a wild pitch. And next, we have recess appointments, which we show illegal substitutions. In the third inning, we switch over to Guantanamo. And that shows a 5K for a one question mark. Then we have the fall of Iraq, which is a sacrifice, followed by the Russian showdown, which is a balk. Overstepping the presidential authority, we show a bat out of turn. Followed by failure to produce budgets for a 7K. And finally, the censorship of the Attorney General, which we show an ejection. For a physical copy of the scorecard, you can look it up at my website at timbrice.com. The only other item I might add to the scorecard is the President's relationship with the Main Street media, for which he would obviously get an intentional walk. Friends, keep the faith. This is Tim Bryce of Palm Harbor, Florida. Follow me on the internet at timbryce.com.